so this is the tipper navigation from meteor and uh, this bracket is from um, akhtar uh, 786 rider you can find him on instagram and his youtube channel i'm gonna use this uh, clamp to mount this on my jetayu we started off the uh, installation by removing the visors uh, from front uh, after removing the visors we loosen the uh, bolts uh, which were connecting the speedometer to the frame uh, there are four bolts after loosening them we just lifted uh, the speedometer slightly and placed this uh, clamp bracket just like uh, how uh, mr akhtar or 786 rider uh, had shown in his video and once the clamp was placed uh, we uh, replaced the speedometer console and tightened the bolts and now we proceeded uh, towards removing the headlight cover and installing the wires uh, initially i thought this work is going to be a little complicated but it was very easy believe me you will require one more person with you to do this job effectively uh, uh, the person who uh, sold me the bracket or the clamp uh, Mr. Akhtar, uh, who also goes by his YouTube name as 786rider, is also available on Instagram. Uh, he has explained very uh, beautifully and easily on his uh, one of his YouTube videos. Please go through that. Uh, we were able to do this uh, with uh, the normal tools that we had and a uh, few set of Allen keys and some 18-inch uh, spanners it was actually very easy just see uh, just go through the video just see if you have any questions please do uh, let me know in the comments or get in touch with me at averagehumanvlogs at gmail.com or my instagram channel dm me i'm gonna help you uh, with any further queries or questions you have regarding installation of this triple navigation So this is the wire, uh, you have to take this 6 pin connector and you have to insert here at the hole and take it out from inside that will be connecting to the uh, tripper navigation see you can see it, it came all the way up now we are left with we are left with 3 joints here, 3 sockets uh, this is one this is the second one and this one so I'll show you how to connect uh, this sockets to which socket you'll be connecting just watch so now I'm gonna explain uh, the wiring part uh, you can see this so this particular wire will go to the accessories port the yellow color okay so that's easy once that is done you can easily make out from the connectors also you're left with two more wires which is this one and this one okay so for that you have to uh, take this rubber gasket a little back and you have to disconnect these two black connectors or socket okay again one is a male and one is a female sorry here also one is a male both and are. both are male yes. yeah no no one is a female and one is a male here okay so here you get one female and one male socket just connect these two things to the socket that's it you are done male to female connection done Sorry, female to male connection now, here. So we are done with the connection. Just put everything back into place. There's a small uh, tension rod there to keep the housing in place. Just put it back. Now, we are going to connect this 6 pin connector to the tipper and see and switch on and see if it works. 
so this particular six pin should be inserted very carefully so that you don't bend the pins once that is done let us see if it will switch on now all the connections are done uh, as instructed now you will just try to switch on now the ignition is on and you can see it comes up now built with google you can see you can just check the time it says uh, 0001 that is the uh, machine time of the device now i have to pair this with the royal enfield app so what i'm going to do first i'm going to switch on bluetooth on my mobile and i will open the re app Once I go to the RE app, I'll go to navigate. It will take some time. and press navigate phone is not connected to the motorcycle tripper device tap on the helmet icon to connect with the via bluetooth so yeah let us uh, go to my tripper devices we will try to refresh this so here you can see uh, the bluetooth is now i have to enter this six digit code here in my phone so once i enter the six digit code press connect and that's it device is connected and paired and now you can see the time here is 1400 hours and the time here also is 1400 hours so that's it the device is connected to my phone and now if i switch off the ignition switch off the ignition and switch on again you can see the watch is already set it won't go back to zero zero hours it will start from the time that was paired see it's now 1401 i don't know if it's too bright for the screen yeah it's too bright for the camera but the device is set okay that's it now we'll put everything back into place we'll see if the visor fits or should i remove the visor uh, I'll update once uh, that task is completed. That one is acting like a heads up display. Ah. <laughs> there you can see the reflection of the time. But this is too bright. I'll have to see if, that, if uh, we can do something about the brightness. So the time is proper. You guys can see the reflection on the visor. You can see the time. But the screen is very bright. I have not yet figured out how to uh, bring down the brightness of the screen. Once I do that, I will update. 